Hello and welcome to another video with Ghost Bros. And today we'll show you how to change the cylinder lock for your sliding door. We just got ours today and we're going to show you how to change it. But before we do a project, we want to hit you with a little joke. Why did the teacher write the lesson on the window? Do you know? Do you know? I don't know. Because she wanted it to be very clear. <laughs> Good one. And now let's get back to our project. And for this video, we use the Prime Line Patio Door Cylinder Lock. We'll put the link in the description. Go check it out. First, we're going to start by removing the handle. Our new cylinder lock came a little bit longer than the original one. So right now we're gonna show you how to cut it to the right length. So you have to measure it, so then you know where to cut the longer one to make it even to the original ones. And we're gonna show you how to do that right now. The old one lines out to the third line on the new one so that's where we're gonna cut it. So to cut this piece, we're gonna need a saw like this one, and you're supposed to grind on the line that you're gonna cut the thing on. So now that you've grind your line, you are ready to cut it. So now, you're just gonna grab an other extra pair of pliers and you're gonna just bend it. So it comes out like that. Sometimes if it's a new door, the door wouldn't come with the lock part. So and to put that in, you would grab some pliers Grab the ear and put it in, and then you would grab some screws and you'd screw them in. Make sure to keep on holding the lock with the pliers so that it won't fall inside the door. But if it does, you can use a telescopic magnet to pull it out. Just like this. And voila. Make sure you grab the ear of the lock until all the screws are in. Now that the lock is in, it's time to attach the handles. Install the cylinder locks on each side of the handle. Make sure all the screws are in its place. Now proceed to attach one side of the handle. Make sure you align correctly the cylinder and the lock. Before you put the screws all the way in on the other side, grab the other handle and then put the screws in. Again, align the cylinder with the lock so it can go in correctly. Perfect. 
Now test that it works. It looks like it's just dandy. And remember, we don't recommend any tool that we don't use. So go check it out. Turns out our handle was wrong because the bolts have to go in the inside of the room. So you switch them and this is the way it should look. So your room can stay safe and locked. There you have it. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notification bell. Those bros, we out!